What's up? Okay, so today uh, I'm going to be doing basically my interpretation of Rihanna's Super Bowl uh, halftime show makeup look. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's just get into it. So I wanted to do... Dude, I wanted to be like all the other makeup artists out there where they're like, I'm gonna use this fancy serum and then I'm gonna go in with this like other, this fancy like moisturizing cream from Charlotte Tilbury and I'm gonna be all like bougie and whatever. Um, I thought it was gonna be amazing. And uh, it actually ended up, I included it just because like shit goes wrong sometimes. You know what I mean? Um, it ended up being not, not great. Uh, what is great is hydrating my lips with Auric. I decided to use, is this the shade Ripe? It's the shade Ripe. Um, cause I'm gonna be wearing a red lip, so like whatever. Uh, to prime my eyes, I went in with Hindash's new eyelid primer, which is pretty dope. I gotta say, it was my first time using it, but I already love it. Um, just like very smooth, you know? Uh, went in with LA Girl Color Corrector slash it's a concealer in light ivory, but whatever. Um, and then I was using the new, this newest shade of makeup, my Mario's foundation, because 2N was a little light. Personally, 3W, a little dark. And then this is where my skin started, like, my skincare stuff, like the, the serum and the moisturizer just started to, like, pill up. So I was like, okay, cool, I guess um, I'm removing all of that and starting from scratch. So I went in with Tatcha, which is an OG for me. Uh, I ended up using it all over my face, which honestly, in retrospect, probably should have used like, I don't know, something different in the, my T-zone, but whatever, we made it work. Going back in with the color corrector and then back in with my foundation. And this time I decided to use a sponge just to try and mitigate anything. I don't think that it would have happened because I was using something that is, is tried and true. Um, but yeah, so this, personally, I think mixing 1W and L or two, two, two N would be really good. Uh, I'm using the Luminous Putty Bronzer by e.l.f. to bronze. I am basically going to be building up like thin layers, you know me, thin layers of liquids, creams. This is, this is me doing full glam, okay? Like full, full glam. Like I realize that I look like an oily mess right now. We're going full glam. So I'm doing light, contouring now with the lightest shade of the elf putty bronzer which is very very cool toned similar i would say to um fenty matchstick in amber uh and i'm using a secret brush right now secret brush secret brush but uh maybe i can talk about it soon obviously i love to contour my lips and nose and all of those things and i just feel like when i'm doing full glam all of those spots on my face need to be hit like if i'm contouring my whole face then I'm contouring my whole face. You know what I mean? I'm not just doing my cheekbones and that's it. Because otherwise I feel like my nose and my lips and my temples and everything, they just don't end up looking cohesive with the rest of my face. I kind of left my nose contour. I decided to go in with my concealer uh, just so that I had like structure and I don't know, with blending and whatever. I was kind of following her face, like the way that it looked highlighted to me. Uh, and you know, I don't know, the little, little things here and there. And then obviously blending out with my LC Cosmetics Velvet Sponge, which is my fave, just I love the point. And just being intentional with my placement, obviously, making sure that I'm going in and blending into the rest of my foundation, but keeping the placement, I just said this, intentional, <laughs> so that I'm not like dragging it all around my face, you know? Uh, again, using basically her makeup or her face. It was kind of hard, honestly. The screenshots were not like amazing, so I did my best, but obviously I'm doing kind of a combination of like what I would typically do for my face shape, because obviously I don't look like Rihanna, even a little bit. We don't look anything alike, um, but yeah. But also like taking that inspiration from her full glam. Uh, this Model Rock Cosmetics, brow pencil has just been my go-to recently because the color is just so good. This is the shade Ash Brown. Super random product, but it's just the one that, like the color is just like so good for me. So I need some cool tone brow pencil recommendations that are actually cool toned. Uh, this isn't something that I typically do, but for a full glam look, I'm just going back in with a little bit of the foundation that I use, the Makeup by Mario foundation, to clean up the um, underside of my eyebrows. 
I like to do this when I do full glam. So I'm using this Danessa Myrex blush, which is stunningly gorgeous. Again, it was very difficult to see what kind of blush Rihanna was wearing, but it did look like warm, kind of reddish. It wasn't super intense, but I'm going in quite a bit now because uh, I knew I was gonna go in with this concealer by Dior to do a little bit more highlighting, which was gonna cover up a little bit of the blush. And also I'm gonna be setting with powder, which usually kind of like makes the blush disappear a little bit. So light layers, light layers. Then I'm gonna be setting with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder, which has been my favorite for my under eyes. Um, I'm actually, I'm, I'm really going in with powder right now. I mean, not like a ton of it, obviously I'm not baking or anything, but I'm really setting with powder because I went in with a very moisturizing uh, moisturizer to prime. And then I'm setting the rest of my face with my House Labs powder, which I actually really enjoy. It's quite smoothing and very, very finely milled. So I'm focusing obviously in the areas where my face is like pretty oily looking. Um, and then I'm dusting it essentially around the rest of my face. Uh, and this is just obviously to set all the creams and everything. Uh, and it keeps everything in place. And then I'm going back in with uh, another secret brush <laughs> uh, and my Wayne Goss contour to set my contour. So most of you, if you have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I like to do a combination of light layers of creams and powders to set and make sure that things last without making it look like super duper cakey. So right now I'm just going over all of my contours uh, using some like nice lighter fluffier brushes essentially, including my nose. But I'm being a little less like crazy about the placement because right now I'm just like, okay, let's just set, you know? I'm going in with a little bit of that House Labs powder on my eyelids uh, just cause I have, I don't know what happened, but I've just been having a hard time blending up there. So I'm using this Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes palette. Uh, I'll link the refer brushes down below cause I, I don't know right now. Um, I started off with this cooler toned shade because obviously Rihanna and I do not have the same skin tone. It could end up looking a lot warmer on my skin sometimes, uh, but she was wearing a relatively warm warm eyeshadow so I decided to, to tap back between this like caramely brown and that peach and go over top. So I'm doing a little bit of like structural change and then blending on top with some warmth. I blended that like crazy into my temples and I kind of regret it. So just, I don't know, skip that maybe. Um, doing the same thing on my lower lash line. So going in first with that cool toned color and connecting it up to the top. I kind of like scooped below my, uh, my waterline and my lash line because she has like just a, I was kind of trying to mimic her eye shape. Her like lower lash eye shape is just like so beautiful. Uh, and then I'm going back over it with that same combination, that warm caramely brown and that peach over top of the cooler tone. But essentially like, you know, I'm not doing anything different, just going over top. But I decided to kind of like do this little inner corner opening thing because she just has like, we have very different under eyes, like our entire faces, obviously, like I've said. So she has this really beautiful little like inner corner definition. So I was kind of trying to mimic that. I don't know if it ended up doing anything. Uh, I'm going with this Maybelline eyeliner, which is amazing. It's the Master Precise. Applying it at the end and then using this tiny brush, which I believe is from the Samantha Sigma collection, I believe. Uh, and winging it out a bit. She, had, she may have had like a tiny wing. It was very difficult to tell. So I couldn't tell if it was just a lash, but like, I'm pretty sure she had a little bit of a wing. And then also in her waterline, it kind of looked like she had something that like when the light hit, there was a reflect, but it also added like a little bit of like a slightly darker definition. I don't know if you can see the difference there between the other side. So I went in with this Bare Minerals eyeliner, which I think did the job. And then going in with uh, Urban Decay glitter liner. Can't remember what the color name is, but it's obviously the silver one. Everything will be linked down below. This was honestly such a holiday look for her, like such a holiday look. And just lining, lining my lash line and, uh, and just above that wing. I love these glitter liners. Uh, going in with NARS, San Juan bronzer, just to, you know, overly bronze. Uh, yeah, essentially setting and also just like adding some more warmth because she just had like, she had a lot of warm bronze. She had a bronzy forehead, okay? I didn't even go that hard on the forehead. Can you see what's happening on my temples though? Like it really just wasn't a good look. I think I kind of like blended it a little bit with a sponge at some point. I don't know if I included that, but uh, yeah, I went a little, it was a little too much probably because my skin prep wasn't great. <laughs> 
Um, I'm going in with this grippy, I think it's called the Grippy Brow from Half Magic. This is a new launch that I just received like the day before. And it seemed fine, but you'll see once I'm like actually using the brow pen that it did, my brow hairs did start to fall. So it's not the best. It's not, it's not my favorite. It's not Jekka Black. Uh, going in with Fenty, obviously. Had to throw some Fenty in here, whatever highlight that is. Again, don't know off the top of my head. It, it, it ended up being a little gold for my taste. I decided to like hit most of the face but then I uh, ended up going in later on with the Rare Beauty Bronzer in Enlighten because I was like, I just need to kind of balance this a little because it was like a little too bronzy compared to that silver, in my opinion, at least on my face at this time. Um, but yeah, you know what I mean? Like hitting all the high points, we, go, we went glam. Going in now with the melt, you can kind of see, see, you can kind of see how the eyebrow hairs have sort of fallen. They've like straightened out a bit. Uh, yeah, so it's it's definitely not my favorite. I don't think I would I'm gonna use it again because I just have better better options. Refer lash curler as always. Uh, I didn't focus too much on the curling because I knew I was gonna be going in with um, false lashes, which are the Nikki makeup. I think they're called the corner lash. So I just applied a few coats of Buxom Extrovert mascara. Again, using a regular mascara because I'm using falsies. So I don't really care about like that lift, I just don't need it necessarily. Yeah, I do love this mascara. It's great for my lower lashes, but sometimes I do get it everywhere. <laughs> uh, so popping on those lashes, which I definitely did not let the, I use the Melt uh, Lash Glue and I definitely didn't let it get tacky. I was like so impatient, I just popped it on immediately. Uh, the left eye was a little bit of a struggle, but it's fine because we cut it out, so you don't even know. So I'm patting the lip stuff off. Um, and then going on with this color fix from Danessa Myricks, which I have never used on the lips, but this shit is a game changer, my friends. If you have never used these on the lips, you absolutely have to. I, it was like one of those moments where it was just like, I don't know, it just like came through me. I was like, oh, I need to use this on my lips. Cause it's like for eyes, face, lips, whatever. Ziva, can you not mess in the bag? So I used it. Uh, the main reason was the lipstick that she had, I didn't have. She's obviously wearing Fenty MVP. I didn't have that. And I couldn't find my Lisa Eldridge lipstick, which is what I wanted to use. So I ended up going in with like a couple lip liners. This one is, I think, Milk, mel mel Melt. It's a little darker to try and like get that effect. Uh, and then I ended up going in with this, um, is it Givenchy? I think it's Givenchy, um, the lipstick, which I thought was matte. It wasn't super matte. <laughs> uh, so I actually regret that, but I did think it was deeper. It's not, whatever. It just ended up being like a red lip. Um, and obviously you gotta clean up. You gotta clean up those corners, you know? But yeah, overall, I think that it ended up like looking really good. I just wouldn't recommend the, like it, it was, she was definitely wearing a matte lip that was a little bit darker than this. Anyway, this is the finished look. I think it's beautiful. Uh, I really enjoyed doing it. It's very holiday. Very holiday. It looks very holiday on me. Uh, I feel like she made it look way more Super Bowl. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thing, thumb, a thing, give it a thing. Give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications, uh, and let me know what you wanna see next, bro. I'll see you soon.